In this video, I'm going to show you how Wesley ran the best defense in the Madden Club Series. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel and you don't know what I do, basically what I do on YouTube is I break down Madden 21 tips and tricks, right? Every single day, we break down videos that are designed to help you become a better Madden player, both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. So I'm actually really, really jacked up and excited to share this video with you and the reason why I'm so excited is because Wesley went ran this defense very very well one of the things that people don't realize about Wesley as you see he gets the interception here is he is a phenomenal defensive player he's actually might he might even be better on defense than he actually is on offense in my opinion just from watching him play his adjustments and his ability to make um, you to, to make you turn the ball over so we're gonna jump over here to practice mode and I'm gonna share with you um, some of the concepts that he was utilizing on the defensive side of the ball you can if you want to get the full defense that Wesley was running it's actually very similar to my 335 wide ebook which you can get in the description of this video for just 15 bucks okay so pretty good deal right now that's just for 15 bucks um, but anyways I'm going to go ahead and th run through this so Drini was running the Seattle bunch right this was the, the formation that Drini was in pretty much the majority of the game right and so essentially what I wanted to break down with you here is how how um, Wesley did such a good job. So first and foremost, if we go through our coaching adjustments, I want to kind of break down a few things. Auto flip is on, auto alignment to default, ball and receiver to play receiver, option defense on conservative. It's really important, especially for Seattle, because Seattle has a really good read option. Uh, the curl flats on 25. I don't know if he did anything different here. Uh he might have, but this when I run this defense, this is what I do. Um, you could put these at five, and you could put these at five if you wanted to, okay? But really where this defense's success lies is not only in the formation, but also the ability to get the best personnel possible on the field, which is to ultimately get, um, I, I believe you get eight corners or eight corners slash safeties, two linebackers and one defensive tackle, which is very similar to what you could get from a dime formation. The only difference is you don't get weak boxed whenever you run this. So um, I like to run this out of 46. I believe that's what Wesley was doing as well uh, in this game. A lot of pro players were running this defense. the best defense in Madden right now, hands down. So the trick of it is, is we're going to sub in safeties at linebacker right here. I've got corners at corners at corner obviously and then corners at the safety position and then I have my safeties at the linebacker so uh, I'll show you the depth chart real quick so we'll have Zadarius Smith out here we'll have Rashawn Gary uh, I like him over Preston Smith because he has 86 speed uh, Adrian Amos here Kadir Holman Will Redman Darnell Savage Perry Nickerson Kevin King Josh Jackson and Jair Alexander now what I like to do is I like to move Jair Alexander around I always want him to be on the wide side of the field that's just and, you know, that's kind of my thing. So, like, right here, uh, the wide side of the field will be on the right side of the field. And what we're going to do is we're just going to set the Mic Blitz 3 in our audibles. Now, I'm going to share with you a couple of reasons as to why the Mic Blitz 3 is the best play in the game. And then you can come out in any any play that you want out of 3-3-5. I actually really like to come out in FS Middle 3. Um Personally, I think it's actually a really, really good coverage. Um, I'll come out in that sometimes. Because if you look at that, compare it and compare it to Mike Blitz 3, you see that it's the opposite safety that's in the deep blue zone. So another thing that you could do is you could come out in strong safety Mike Cross and notice that strong safety Mike Cross is very, very similar to Mike Blitz 3. So those are some just kind of little things that you can do that will make a big difference. And I'll show you why. Uh, if I come out in SS Mike Cross, watch the alignment that I'm going to get. You see here, if I press coverage... Um, look at where my players are going to go. That's the one reason I don't do this. What I would do if I were you is you could actually come out in, and I've talked a little bit about this in the ebook, but you could come out in something and then audible to it if you wanted to. And people mistake all the time the importance of audibling around. So, for example, if I come out in FS Middle 3 and I audible to SS Mike 3, watch the alignment that I'm going to get for my safeties. I actually think it's a really, really big deal. Um, and we're going to jump into the 3 5 wide. Just a second. I just want to show this to you really quickly. So, FS Middle 3, and I'm going to audible to Mike Cross. That's all I'm doing. And look right here. You see that I get this, this basic 
um, this basic look right here, right? So the one thing that you want to make sure that you do is if I back out and, and, and let's just run a play here, but the one thing that you want to make sure that you understand about this is alignment is important in Madden, and 335 allows you to align really, really good. So this is FS Middle 3, right? Um, so I'm going to audible if I reset the play here. And this, I think this is because it auto flipped. So I need to get on Darnell Savage, wherever he is. Okay. So now if I audible to Mike Blitz 3, look what happens here. You notice how both of my linebackers are in this area, right? They're in this, in this pocket. Now, if I wanted them to get out, right, I would just spread the linebackers. This is all I would need to do. Um, but that's just a little pro, you know, kind of advanced tip. If I reset them, you see that they're stacked like this. This is kind of a little bit of a unique blitz that you can run from time to time. Just simply crash your line down, and I'll show you here. The pressure doesn't, it comes in right off the left edge. Um, obviously, the running back blocked in that case, but I just wanted to show you that. It's just something simple, but it does a really good job against the run. Anyway, beyond that, what I want to share with you is I want to share with you why this is such a good uh, defense, Mike Blitz 3. So we're going to come over to Mike Blitz 3 um, to get the linebackers to go where they want to go. i got to spread them because I did that adjustment. But essentially, we're going to spread our line, and then we can basically, what you'll notice about these seam flats is seam flats play a little bit differently than curl flats as far as how they defend certain routes. So when players run those deep corner routes and stuff, seam flats do a better job traditionally than curl flats do, right? Seam flats also do a better job against like snap throw streaks and things like that. So what that allows you to do is it allows you to basically go with a cross man type of look. So what I like to do personally is I actually really, really like to simply man up the tight end with the linebacker here and simply man up the running back. I think this defense right here is really, really hard for people to beat consistently. And in this scenario, I would actually like to shift the line left, but you don't have to do that. You can just leave them as is. And the reason why I like to do this um, is because what you'll notice here is pretty much everything that they want to do is really bagged whenever you run this defense. Because the tight end is oftentimes, um, if you think about the routes that the tight end is going to be on in the gun bunch, He's oftentimes going to be on, you know, different types of routes. Either going to go on a quick route or a, obviously or a, or a um, outside breaking pattern. Um, typically, the tight end though is is going to be on some type of route that is either is is coverable by man coverage. So if you man up the tight end, oftentimes that does help. Another little trick that you can do with this is you could take the 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 linebacker on the right side. You could put him in a flat. And then you can man up the slot corner on the slot receiver. This is going to take away every cover three bomb that they can do from gun bunch, at least all of them that I know, right? Um, or the majority of them. And then on the back side, you could, you could do a couple things. You could cross man the tight end if you want to stop crossing routes. And then you just need to know that your job is the running back. Another thing you could do is man him up on the running back there um, if you wanted to do that as well. So this is how this coverage will look. But as you can see, you get really good block sheds from this formation, and it's really hard to get people open when you use some of these adjustments. The beauty of the 335 wide, and I think what's super important about it as it compares to other defenses in Madden, is the fact that you can cross man people from it. You can cross man linebackers all the way over the field. I think that's a huge deal. And so you never want to like dismiss the importance of cross manning. Now, the cool part about this defense is also, let's say that you want to gas them up. Let's say you want to send some pressure. You'll see here that all I've got to do is spread my line and crash my line out, and I've got instant pressure at the quarterback. Now, what Wesley was running a lot as well, real quick, is he was running a lot of this Mike Blitz O. Basically, he was running you know press coverage, essentially, um, with the one step aheads. And this was very, very difficult for Drini to beat. Now, what I would actually recommend um, is potentially even doing some, you know, some cross manning of those safeties on those two players, just to kind of, just to kind of help it a little bit. You'll notice that the man coverage still gets out there really, really well. Um, it just, it just helps with like crossing routes and things like that. But, anyways, guys, if you want to get, I could talk about this defense for hours, and I did do that in my defensive ebook. 
if you want to get this full defense, literally every pro player runs this defense. I did not know that when I first originally wrote this defense back in January um, in the beginning of the month. But this is the best defense that you can get right now in Madden 21. Completely locks down every popular offense. You can stop the run. You can stop the pass. You can send pressure. You can play coverage. You can cross man. Everything that you want in one defensive ebook is available for you. We also show you how to stop strong, close, trip tight in, and a lot of the other popular meta formations in Madden in the ebook. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to get the ebook, the link is in the description of this video. And we'll see you guys tonight at 10 o'clock for our nightly live stream right here on our YouTube channel.